Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Tony. I'm the co-host of the channel. I typically cover Top Tweaks videos, and that's exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video. Some of the latest and greatest tweaks that have just recently come out that you guys should definitely be aware of. Anyhow, before I get into today's video, I cannot believe we have a brand new iOS 13.5 jailbreak that came out of the blue. This is absolutely astonishing news. Super, super excited. Anyhow, what do I need to address before getting into this video? First up, if you guys want to jailbreak and you're not jailbroken yet, definitely check out Tanner's video located down below. Also, next to that video, you'll find an article with all of the tweaks in today's video, as well as their sources, as well as some bonus tweaks. Uh, I think lastly, this is not the only Top Tweaks video that I've done. We've done a bunch of Top Tweaks videos on iOS 13. Check them out down below. I'll link them in a playlist. A couple of the tweaks that I have on my current setup are from those previous videos, so definitely check those out if you're looking for more tweaks to install. Anyhow, without further ado, let's get directly into things. Now, the first tweak I wanted to talk about in today's video is called Court, and basically it styles your notification bubbles, something like this. It looks super modern, super clean. It's by the same developer that made Prism, this control center right here. And as you guys can see, the same uh, theming, kind of the rounded corners, is now on your notifications. It also redoes the uh, lock screen music controls if you want it to, but I still use Sylph. I really like that tweak. Anyway, that's a bonus one that I've covered in the past. The main one that I wanted to talk about, again, is Court. These awesome notifications, they look great. And you can actually pull down to clear all your notifications just like that. So moving on, let's go ahead and go into the Messages app. Now look at this. This is done with dope convos. It looks super awesome. You can add a background, you can blur the background. It really gives a nice transparency effect. And even within individual message threads, you can change the bubble colors um, and really customize your entire uh, messaging application. Now, the second tweak that I have going on here is called Groups. This one's really cool. You can tap on the group icon right there, and you can actually group your message threads uh, based on family, friends, work. You can create your own categories, but if I go ahead and click on work, then conversations with just me and Tanner and myself, uh, just extra accounts that I have, uh, show up under that category. If I go to friends, you have different, th uh, different message threads showing up right there. If I go back to all messages, it shows everything that I have in my messages app. Anyhow, that one's called groups. That along with dope convos makes the messages app super, super cool, super useful. I just love that extra functionality. So now that we're on the home screen, I've covered some of these tweaks in the past. Again, if you guys see one in this video that I'm not talking about, definitely check out our previous Top Tweaks videos. I'll have an entire playlist located down below in this video's description. Anyhow, the one I wanted to talk about in today's video is called Multipla. Now check this out. You can have multiple docs that do different things. If you just swipe up on the dock, you get this awesome UI right here where say I can go into a power module. That's what that looks like. I can swipe up again, take a look at weather real fast. And uh, if I'm not on a page that has a music widget, I can swipe up and go to music and quickly toggle uh, either play pause or skip to the next track. Anyhow, you can actually just hold to go back to your applications just like that. All in all, this tweak works phenomenally. I'd love to see Apple implement something like this in iOS 14. And speaking of things that I'd like to see in iOS 14, the full screen call interface just drives me crazy. Well, with this new tweak called Scorpion, check this out. If I go ahead and call myself, look at that. You have an awesome little call bar right at the top. You can swipe it down to the bottom of the screen. And the crazy part is, is it adapts with light and dark mode. So now it's white instead of black. All in all, this tweak is awesome. And it replaces uh, call bar access, I think. Um, that one never really worked too well, but Scorpion works great. It works for phone calls, it works for FaceTime, WhatsApp, a bunch of other apps. Anyhow, that was Scorpion, redesigned call interface, super cool tweak. Definitely check that one out. 
Next up, we have Circulizer. This adds this awesome music visualizer right within the music platter on the lock screen. Super simple tweak, but I just, I love music tweaks. Those look super cool. Just anything to make your device feel kind of custom and unique, and it's a lot of fun. Anyhow, guys, super cool tweak that just came out. Anyhow, let's move on. So this next one's a quick one, but it's based in Safari. It's called Safari Features. Now, the cool thing is when you have multiple tabs open on your iPhone, it looks way different than what it does on the iPad. And essentially what this tweak does is it brings that grid style layout as well as the tabs at the top of Safari to the iPhone. So now you can just quickly tab between your different tabs that you have open. You can see them a little bit easier if they actually loaded. Um, there we go, maybe, I don't know why those two aren't showing the previews, but uh, in any case, it makes it really quick to jump between tabs, to close out of one, um, kind of how it should be, and it works super well. Anyhow guys, just a quick one in Safari, that one's called Safari Features. Next up, we have two going on in the status bar. One is called No Notch, this is a free tweak, it basically removes the notch uh, from actually displaying. Um, basically, it just has your status bar up there, but everything else is hidden. It doesn't actually show the wallpaper. If you're going into an app like Safari we were just in, you can actually round the corners. So it kind of hides the notch entirely from showing. Now, the second thing is this tweak called Peep, which lets you hide the status bar. So if I just tap on the status bar, now it's entirely gone, and it stays hidden even when in apps. So this really gets rid of the notch entirely, but lets you kind of choose if you want to have your status bar show or not. Two tweaks that work super well together and they're both entirely free. So this next tweak is called Last Look and it kind of reminds me of Lisa because when you lock your device, it will kind of show you an OLED interface for just a second. So if I go ahead and lock my device, Basically, all that's showing is the time, complications, and my music widget. Now, you can actually choose what stays to show up, but as you guys can see, over time, it just fades away. So, this is really cool, but the point of this tweak is actually to give you one last look at a notification that you recently received. Let's go ahead and enable last look, and there we go, guys. You get a quick glimpse at your unread notifications. So I don't know if you guys can quite tell what's going on in the background here, but this is actually the stock iPhone 11 Pro Max or just 11 Pro wallpaper that we have going on here, but it's slightly blurred. And that's with a tweak called Blur Ground. And this pairs really nicely with better widgets which you can entirely customize your widgets pane right here. You can remove the backgrounds, you can remove the header text, you can have them always be expanded. Anyway, super cool tweaks. Again, these two paired together work super nicely and these two also happen to be entirely free. So I have two Cydia tweaks that I wanted to talk about. Um, one was just recently updated called Side Push 2. Now this will actually send push notifications from Cydia letting you know when there's an update to your tweaks that you have. Obviously I can't toggle an update, but I did manage to grab a screenshot of it. I guess Shuffle just recently had an update, so that's when it came up. That's what the notification looks like, again because of Court. Anyhow, that was one of the two tweaks that I wanted to talk about within Cydia. The other one is called hashtag installed. Now this one's super cool. If you take a look at some of my repos that I have, these are all my sources. Now the really cool thing with this tweak, it adds this little number at the very end, right after the URL. Now this shows how many packages are in the repository, but the really important part is it shows how many you have installed from it. So like a couple of these repositories, I don't even have any tweaks installed from them anymore. So. I could probably clean up my source list a little bit easier uh, when I know that I don't have any tweaks installed from these repositories. Anyhow, I don't really want to get a copyright claim for this tweak, but I really wanted to mention it. If you guys made it to the end of this video, this is probably my favorite new tweak that has come out, and it's called Roadrunner. Now, essentially what this does is it's just like the tweak, if you guys remember, called Don't Stop the Party. 
Now, what Roadrunner and what Don't Stop the Party do is if you guys are listening to music in Spotify, Apple Music, whatever your now playing application is, uh, when you guys actually perform a respring, it keeps the now playing app open and your music continues to play through the respring. So if I go ahead and respring my device, again, I can't really demo this because I don't want to get a copyright claim um, from anything on Spotify or Apple Music but um, I guess I don't even have to open up my phone. But as you guys can see, after respringing my device, my music is still playing in the background because you can see that the visualizer is still going. But I'll go ahead and open up my device once more, let VLOX load for just a split second, open up Spotify, and there we have it, guys. My music is still playing in the background. It persisted through the respring. And this also works for YouTube videos, too. It's a super cool tweak. I love it. It makes resprings a little bit less painful to go through. Anyhow, guys, that is the list that I have for you in today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and for the incredible support. I cannot believe we have a brand new jailbreak on our hands. And very lastly, before I go, the entire tweak list and all of the sources needed to install them are located down below in our Best Tech Info article. And since it's been such a long time since I made a tweak video, I included a bunch of extra tweaks in that article that I didn't quite have time to cover in today's video. Anyhow guys, definitely check out that article to get you on your way to installing these tweaks. I'll be back real soon with another Top Tweaks video, but until next time, this is Tony, Signing out.